And first at six, a Spartanburg County man has been sentenced to three decades in prison for shooting and killing his ex-wife. The solicitor tells us Robert Lee O'Shield Sr. pleaded guilty to murder just a few hours ago. His attorneys say he was depressed and suicidal at the time. Authorities say he shot Mary Ann O'Shield several times outside the safe home shelter in Spartanburg County last year. He also admitted to possession of a weapon during the commission of a crime and breaking an order of protection. He was sentenced to 30 years in prison. And because of this very trial, we are asking some really important questions about South Carolina's domestic violence laws. In that case, the victim had an order of protection. State House reporter Robert Kittle is looking into what the state's new law does and what changes could be on the way. Governor Nikki Haley signed a tougher criminal domestic violence law in June. It bans some abusers from having guns. And it sets penalties based on how bad the abuse was, not just whether it's a first, second, or third offense. Sara Barber is director of the South Carolina Coalition Against Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault, or SCADVASA. She says it's too soon to tell if the law is helping. She's also on the governor's domestic violence task force. One recommendation is better education to prevent domestic violence. You don't try and just introduce concepts of domestic violence to children and or students in a one hour setting, that you do it over sustained length of time. So you have eight or nine sessions that you repeat every year. So this becomes something that they, um, that becomes a part of them, that they just know. The task force has 50 recommendations. One of the recommendations is for the state to hire more prosecutors because right now, most of the time in magistrate's court, the arresting officer has to go and argue the case and act as prosecutor going up against a defense attorney. Longtime victims advocate Laura Hudson is also on the task force. So a combination of the law change and the task force suggestions, I think it'll take us several years to see the, you know, the outcome of that, but I think it, the, the combination is really unique. I don't think we've ever had anything where we uh, tackled the law and we tackled the culture at the same time. Every year, the state has the silent witness ceremony to remember victims. She says it may take a couple of years, but there should be fewer of these silhouettes. In Columbia, Robert Kittle, 7 on your side. The final recommendations from the governor's task force for solutions to this problem are due by December 31st. We'll keep you up to date on what happens.